Question one. So x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we have to we have to factorize. Factorize each of the following. Alright, so this is how we do it. The fact first of all the factors of x squared. So x times x is x squared, isn't it? Now we write down, on the right hand side, we write down the factors of 6. Put your pen down. 1 times 6, 2 times 3. The next question you ask yourself, which pair, when added, will give me 5? Added or subtracted will give me 5. 2 and 3. So we're going to use 2 and 3. So we put one of the x's here. This x goes there. And we're going to use, put the bigger number first, 3 and 2. And how do I get plus 5? I need a plus 3 and a plus 2 to give me a plus 5. Alright? Do you get that? Yeah. And then the second test, multiply 3 times 2 and you get 6. So when you add these two, you have to get the middle number. When you multiply them, you have to get the... Okay, all right, so there are the factors, factorized, done. Can you tell me quickly where does my U-shaped graph, because this is a quadratic equation, where does it cross the x-axis? Well, I told you it's going to be the opposite of what these signs are telling you. So the opposite is it crosses at minus 3 and it crosses at minus 2. So the graph is going to look something like that. Okay, that's question one. Question four. X squared plus 11x plus 24. The factors of x squared are x times x. The factors are 24. Call them out. 1 times 24. Always start with 1. Does 2 divide into 24? Yeah. Does 3 divide in? Yeah. No. Yeah. 3 eighths, 24. Does 4 divide in? Yeah. 5, 6. Well, we have a 6, so we can stop now. Which pair adds up or subtracts to give me 11? 3 and 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. So x goes there, x goes there. We have an 8 and a 3. 8 first, 3 second. How do I get plus 11? Plus 3, plus 8, plus 3. And when I multiply plus 8, times plus 3, I get 24. Correct. Okay, so if I was drawing a graph, where would, where does it cross the x-axis? Minus 3 and, so minus 3 and minus 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it looks something like that. Okay. That's question 4. Now yeah, let's switch on to question 10. Now this time we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Pay close attention to this one. Look it up this way. Look up. What's the factors of 2x squared? 2x times? X, isn't it? It's 2x squared. The factors of 2 are just 1 by 2. Now, the 2x goes here, the x goes here. Right, now uh, we have to do an extra bit of checking. I'll show you how to check to see if it's correct. So we'll put in the 2 first and then the 1. This is, this is how you check. I haven't showed you yet. Watch. So I multiply these two and I get 2x. This is the check. Multiply these two, 2x times 1, and I get 2x. Does 2x plus 2x give me 5x in the middle? No. no. Alright, so there's something wrong. So what I need to do now is I need to swap the 2 and the 1. Check again. 1 times x? 2x times 2? 4x, isn't it? Alright, how do I get plus 5x? Plus 1x 
plus four. Would that not be five plus two then? Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. <coughs> My mistake. Uh, no, that's fine. All right. So plus one, plus four. So the top sign, the plus, there's plus one. The top sign goes left, and the bottom sign goes right. Okay. So that's okay. The final check, one times two is two. That's correct. Okay. So there are the factors. Question 10, question 13, uh, I'll do question, yeah, I'll do question 13. X squared minus 7x plus 12. The factors for x squared are x times x. The factors are 12, keep looking up. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Which pair adds up to... Give me seven. So x goes here, this x goes there. All right, four and three. But what about minus seven? Minus. On a number line. Add it. What numbers do I need? Minus. I need a minus four and a plus. minus three. If I add minus four and minus three, I get minus seven. All right. On a number line, check it on the calculator if you like. All right, and then if I multiply these two, minus four times minus three, I get plus 12. Okay, so that's my answer, that's it factorized. That's question 13. Um, now, right, question 19. Two x squared, minus seven x plus three. Right, again, what's, how do we get 2x squared? What are the factors? 2x, 2x by x. Factors of 3. 1 by 3. Alright, so we put the 2x here. And the x there. And we put in the 3 here. And we put in the 1 there. Looking up. Do your check. 3 times x is 3x. 2 times, 2x times 1 is 2x. If I add 3x and 2x, I get 5x. Is that correct? No. It's not nowhere near. So what do I do? Swap the 3 and the 1. 1 times x is 1x. 2x times 3 If I add 1 and 6, I get 7. But how do I get minus 7? Minus 1. If I add minus 1 and minus 6, I get minus 7. All right, so the top sign goes left always. The bottom sign goes right. Final check. Minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3. So that's correct. Factorised. That's question 19. And we'll have a look at question 22. 3x squared minus 17x. Plus 20. Alright, the factors of 3x squared are 3x three. Three times x. The factors are 20. Start with 1. Does 2 divide in? Does 3 divide in? No. Does 4 divide in? That's it. Which pair? Uh, well, we don't know which pair we, we, we can use yet. But um, if, it, if it's not obvious, if there's a 3 or a 2 here, it won't be obvious which pair to use, but I always use the first check. I always check the first ones on the one on the bottom first. Look up. Three x times x. So we'll try the four and the five. Alright, so if I go three times five is fifteen. Oh we'll try it. Um well, I'll put in the 5 and the 4, right? Trial and error. That's 5 times x is 5x. 3x times 4? 12. 12x. If I add 5 and 12, do I get 17? Yeah. So I need a minus 5 plus a minus 12 gives me minus 17. All right. So the top sign, this minus goes left. The bottom sign goes right. The final check. 
If I multiply minus 5 times minus 4, do I get plus 20? Yeah. I do. All right, so I have to do two checks, the addition check and then the multiplication check. All right, uh, and then we'll do another question like that, question 31. Two x squared minus seven x minus fifteen. What's the factors of two x squared? Two x times the factors of fifteen. One times fifteen. Does two divide in? No. Three by five. Which pair? It's not obvious which pair adds up to seven, is it? So I always check with the bottom pair first. So I'll put in two x there and x goes here. Alright, we'll check it with the 5 and the 3. So if I put the 5 there first, the 3 there, do your check. 5 times x, 5x. 2x times 3. Alright, can I add or subtract 6x and 5x to get 7x? If I add them, I get 11x. If I subtract them, I get 1x. Right, that doesn't work. Stop the 3 and the 5. Three x, two x times five x is ten x. How am I going to get minus seven? Minus minus ten plus three. Minus ten x plus three x. Right. So the top sign, the plus goes left. The minus goes. The bottom sign goes right. On the final check, multiply plus three times minus five. Minus fifteen. Okay, let's start on.